Well, folks, that was an interesting talk there this morning by uh, Father Leon, Brother Leon. And um, sorry I didn't record it all, but um, he did say that if you want to listen to his full talk, which he usually does, it's online on YouTube. He doesn't have a channel and he states that clearly. He says other people, crazy people, he says put, a, put it on. But if you like to um, listen to the rest of what he had to say, which is a very interesting talk, and um, you can look it up on YouTube. Father Leon, Medjugorje. Anyway, I want to draw your attention to some information. This building that you see right directly in front of you, that's where the information, uh, when you come to Medjugorje, if you want to know anything that's going on within the area, in the church grounds or outside of it, you can come there. And they also exchange money. I've exchanged money in there many a time before. Broke it down from 50s to smaller money or a local currency, Mark. And uh, I'm going to bring you also down here and show you something else as well. Okay, folks, this is a, a building. This is another building I wanted to show you. This is where you get masses said for your loved ones. And I'll show you where the front of it is, but this is the building. And it's across the way from the information center, which is just right over there. And also, there's a souvenir shop here on the premises as well. And St. James's, of course, is right there. So I'm going to bring you around. Around this corner, you go up a flight of steps. And then you go up to your left hand side and into a desk onto another left. So you go up the top of these stairs, turn to your left, and then in the door about five yards or whatever. And uh, then you turn to your left and there'll be a nun or somebody in there to, to uh, take your request of, uh, for your loved one. And uh, sometimes, well it costs you a tenner, ten euro that uh, you can fit about five names if you do shorthand, if you do, <laughs> if you do it shorthand. And uh, you can fit uh, your loved ones and have a mass said for them, whether they be past or present. Well, anyway, as I said, there's the information center there. As you can see, the big eye on the post there, and it says mirror, of course, which means peace, and the souvenir shop. And by the way, of souvenirs, uh, you can get souvenirs along the main street out there in uh, Medjugorje. And um, it's always nice to get them uh, blessed before you go back to your home, whatever country you come from. Uh, you can get them blessed either by the priest in your house, wherever you're staying in a group, or you can get it uh, blessed in a confessional box when you go to you know say excuse me father would you mind uh, giving these a blessing while I tell you my sins <laughs> you know he's very accommodating most priests are you know but anyway I'll leave it at that and uh, we'll pick it up somewhere along the road until then God bless Sorry, I should say. I am a little bit out of breath. I'm trying to get up here to my favorite spot so as I can give you a sunset. Uh, unfortunate, um, I mistimed uh, the length it'll take me to get down from where I was. Uh, I had a couple of copies, went for a little snooze, of course, uh, earlier on after uh, Leon's talk and um, the other videos that transpired and as you can see isn't it just beautiful with the, the evening coming to a sort of a close but the night begins then and I'll just let you 
observe what's left of the sunset. Oh, I thought you were watching the sunset. Oh, you want to watch me, do you? <laughs> well, I don't know what I'm going to do for the evening. I went for a little shop down to the little shop I usually go to, not the other shops that I've shown you. But um, I just went in, and uh, it was around about 10 to 3. And I was just about finished uh, putting the little bits and bobs that I wanted to get, you know. And I saw these instant coffees, and what they had was a three in one. You know, you can just pour the little sachet in, and you get milk, sugar, and coffee all in one. Anyway, as I was ready to go and pay, about 30 to 40 kids came in the door from the local school across the road. <laughs> <laughs> and they wanted this, they wanted that, and they were like, <laughs> And because there were so many, they were knocking stuff down in the store because they were so excited, you know, kids in a candy store, like, kind of thing. <laughs> and I was like, I just want to get out of here. <laughs> there were so many of them. No matter what oil I went and turned around in, there was, they were there. <laughs> but eventually, I got out, got my stuff, and I said, oh, I never want to experience that again. I know kids will be kids. Yeah, don't get me wrong. Um... I just wanted to pay my stuff and get out. <laughs> it just wasn't moving, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> I was like, 10 to 3? Why 10 to 3? Are they allowed off to go over into the shop? Like, yeah, But anyway, kids will be kids, huh? Amen. Go on and have another look. Can you see all the mountains? Look, can you see them all there? Look, isn't that beautiful? Hallelujah. The Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Well, folks, that's it. The sun has gone down, and I've just uh, put new batteries into this torch, which you could just about see. So now, this is the first time I'm doing this. We're going to uh, go in the dark. Glory be! <laughs> Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Amen. Yeah, it was wonderful, a little bit of time spent there, but as I was trying to get the, trying to get the torch out, I found out that it was on in the bag the whole time, and the batteries were dead. And I was like, no, and it just started getting darker and darker, and I was like, oh no, I don't need this, you know? But anyway, it is what it is. And our battery is about to die, so <laughs> I'll leave it at that. And I'll continue on and I'll catch you later on. God bless. Well, folks, what can I say? An experience and a half. 
when the power went in the camera. And our battery is about to die, so <laughs> I'll leave it at that. And I'll continue on and I'll catch you later on. God bless. That was okay, but I had the torch. And I had a rough idea of the direction I was going. Well, it got darker and darker. And I took a wrong turn. Somewhere I took a wrong turn. And I ended up around the vineyards tonight for the best part of an hour since the last video you've seen. And I basically was going around and around in circles. Me thinking I was going straight from one end to the next. No. I was ending up near ditches and everything and dead ends. And I seen cars and I tried to wave them down with the torch that I had. Of course, you know that earlier on. The torch, the large torch that I have here, this this big one, right? That it was on in the bag. <laughs> it was on in the bag before the sun went down. And I, I said, lucky enough, I had backup batteries. So um, I put the backup batteries in that. And because I was going around, it, it seemed like, it didn't seem like an hour. It seemed like forever, endless pure darkness once I turned that light off you could not see nothing no matter how good your eyesight was nothing could you see but I went around and around and around and I was calling out the Lord and I was calling out a few with a bad I was calling out a few bad words but I tried to curb them as best I can but the Lord understood but I guess I had to be patient because um, eventually I found civilization <laughs> A street light and it looked like I was over by Mount Krushevac uh, the base of it somewhere along a street because it was empty and it was quiet but there was dogs here and there and gardens and I was like let's hope they're not loose out on the street because uh, there's nowhere for me to run but darkness yeah <laughs> so I had the torch and I went around this corner and I saw colored lights I saw green and a red flashing and I was like this is you know this is me cutting the story a little bit short now to tell you the truth and I saw these colored lights and I was drawn over to them and there was a bridge, uh, kind of, a, it looked, well it was a bridge, it was a gate actually, but uh, I saw this guy, he was rummaging around, I said, excuse me, you, you speak English? And he says, uh, little, and I said, thank heavens, we'll make the best of it anyway. <laughs> I said, uh, where is the church? He says, 20 kilometers, one kilometer, whatever it was. He said that direction. And I was like, well, I knew I just came that direction. There's no way I'm walking back just to there. And I said, can you get a taxi to come to your home? He says, yes, I have a friend who has a taxi. And I was like, well, please call him because <laughs> I'm not moving from here. <laughs> of all the years man I just wanted to get out of there because of pure blackness pure darkness going around and around because I mean if you see the vineyards you see them in many of the videos you see it during the day can you imagine that at night time no lights pitch black black that you can't even see the hand in front of your face but anyway I made it and this is what I'm giving you an update so you've seen the video where the where I said to you that the power is gone this is the second backup battery now which I'm using at the moment and I'm here over in the picnic area this is not my spot behind me is my spot but the, the, the lights ain't working but the lights are working on this side and right behind the camera is the candle lit area uh, my apologies if anybody can hear me um, no because it's a it's a kind of a quiet area well some people tend to not be quiet when they're there you know Amen. but we're over here in the picnic prayer area so I just thought I'd give you an update and uh, I'm just gonna have a few snacks and a drop of water and uh, thank God Amen. and uh, do the fourth rosary of uh, the day because uh, I'm doing the the sorrowful the glorious the sorrowful the glorious wait no this I get this right sorrowful the glorious, the luminous, and the light mysteries. Okay, the, uh, I should have started off with the light mysteries and then the sorrowful mysteries, then the glorious mysteries, then the luminous mysteries. So you break it down, do the whole rosary set throughout the day, 15 minutes for each rosary, thereabouts. You don't have to do them one after another. 
you can break it down, say 20 minutes before lunch, 20 minutes in the morning, whatever, you know. Because uh, over in Father Leon, when he had the, we had the talk this morning, he says, um, he said about that, you know, and that uh, Our Lady would require us to do that. You know, there's no sign that you can't do it. And he says, why are you not going to Mass every day? Because Jesus is there in the Eucharist. Amen. Does that not inspire you to keep going to Mass every day? You can't have an excuse and say, oh, I can't do it today because of this, and I can't do it because of that. He said, that doesn't stop the Italians. <laughs> They're there in their droves. Amen. Clawing in the doors, so to speak. Well, he didn't add that, but I added that. <laughs> but anyway, I won't go on. As you do. <laughs> Probably look a mess, hair and all. Didn't do makeup. Where's makeup when I need it? What? She's on a break. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd update you with that, and thanks to the Lord, He got me out of that. I think I had to go through that. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil. Well, I just couldn't wait to get out of there. Of course, I was doing uh, Most Precious Blood. I was quoting that. I was doing a couple of prayers as I was walking around. Because all you can hear was noises here and there, and I kept saying, Hello, is anybody there? What would you have done if somebody said, Yes. <laughs> what could you do? I couldn't run anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and I just came to the, uh, wrote from the toilets. There was an American guy down the bottom there, and he was looking, had I got a lighter, but, um, but that was bef beforehand. I was coming out, and there's a little thing there for the ladies who uh, attend and look after the toilet facilities here on the, the, the grounds of St. James's. There's a little box for putting in tips or anything like that. And I just stopped at the door and I said, put it on my tab. And the American guy just could not stop laughing. <laughs> he said, are you Irish? And I said, that I am. <laughs> that explains everything, huh? <laughs> anyway, I'll leave it at that. And we'll probably be back on. And... Uh, Maybe just a few more videos before Luck a Notch. But it's not Luck a Notch yet. It's just after 9. I'd say it's probably around about 20 past 9, maybe. Anyway, love you and leave you. And God bless. And thank you for taking the time to listen. And thank you for even getting this far in the video. You are richly blessed, my friend. Amen. Sit a nice cup of coffee before bedtime. Mm. <laughs>
was a surprise, wasn't it? Showing you just the end of the mask. But I was being respectful. I didn't film the whole mask. What I did was I just cut the end of it. But it was beautiful, though. Amen. Apart from the big guy I had in front of me. He was a very tall guy. I had to tap him on the back at one stage. And there was a guy beside me who said, he's tall, isn't he? And I says, yeah, I think I need a stepladder. I'm coming to church in future. <laughs> 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 then it started to dawn on me. I said, well, if there's an eclipse, you can blame him. <laughs> he's tall. He must have been six foot seven and full of muscle. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, I just thought I'd check in with you. Uh, I had a nice night's sleep. Um, apart from one bug that was crawling on my chest, he, he met a sudden death. <laughs> he died. <laughs> Nobody turned up at his funeral. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I'm just letting you know that it's another warm day, starting off as another warm day. And um, we may be heading over to the vineyards to uh, the Blue Cross. Oh, well, I think of it. I think last night in my confusion I may have said light mysteries, luminous mysteries, glorious mysteries and sorrowful mysteries, which one of them is wrong. Glory be! Instead of saying the light, because the light is referred to as the luminous mysteries. So I should have said the joyful mysteries. Amen. So, correction. No doubt I probably corrected it already in the editing process. Amen. I'm on the ball. Don't you need know? <laughs> anyway, I'll leave it at that. So, catch you later. Blue Cross, be there or be square. with the new runners mind you and I'm just sitting on a bench here there's the blue cross over to your right hand side you can just pick it out there's a few pilgrims up there and a few of the unmentionables you want to see them trying to bring a pram up that just moments ago <laughs> it was hilarious but I couldn't have the camera on of course I'd have to be disrespectful now wouldn't it anyway it's nice and peaceful up here and I just thought I'd track through here. And I was just over talking with my friends over at the start of the vineyards there, Anka and Zako and Nicolina. I'm just here to do a few prayers and then we'll toddle on wherever the feet may take us. God willing. folks at the evening program it's just a little after six o'clock uh, I spent a few hours in Krampis and you can probably hear the speaker in the background and there is the statue of Our Lady uh, the weather has turned a little bit dull it's uh, forecast to rain but it hasn't it's Gave a little bit of a haze earlier on, that's about it, but nothing heavy. So um, we're expecting it any time now.
in a while. So I just thought I'd do a brief one anyway. Um, as you've seen photographs of Mount Krishavek, just uh, the sunset, just only moments ago. Uh, and you've seen Mira today. <laughs> I talked about Mira in the last video in October. Uh, and today she uh, allowed me to take a photograph <laughs> and I said I'll make videos so I said and I said don't worry I'll give them my friend Joseph uh, I'll give him the link to let you know when you're on it it's only the photograph you know she's a beautiful young girl and she's uh, nice and polite and she's always welcoming and um, always accommodating and um, Adoration just finished down there. I was just sitting up here doing some prayers and uh, watching the sun go down, as you do, you know. But, um, yeah, I'm contemplating about the big mountain. Don't let the greenery confuse you, you know what I mean? When you see the image, you say, oh, that doesn't look anything at all. <laughs> you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Under that green canopy, lies rocks and boulders galore and they're all steep it's more either you can't even tell whether it's more dangerous going up or is it more dangerous coming down either way you know there has been a few accidents recently and people had to be rescued off that now either they weren't taking their time going up they weren't drinking the water they weren't taking breaks they were just eager to get to the top i mean safety first you know I mean, you'll see what I'm talking about, like, it's not an easy task, but I'm willing to take it on with the help of the Lord, you know, being praying to Our Lady and Our Lord, I said, please, get me up this, I haven't been up since, what, 2009, which is around about 14, 15 years ago. And that was the last time I was up there, and I'm basically looking forward to it. And you're going to come with me, and we're going to enjoy this journey, and I'm going to show you every step of the way. I'm going to not cut any corners and uh, say, oh, it's all this, and it's all that, and it's beautiful, and it's this and that. You're going to see it as real as I can possibly show you. Amen. In Jesus' holy name, you'll get me from the bottom to the top and down again, safely. Amen? Hallelujah. Amen. Me, I'm going to probably do a few prayers here, and... Um, I've got the big torch with me, of course. I've just been, <laughs> I've just been blinking up at the, the top. The, the lighting is on. You can't see it, but the lighting is on on the cross, way, way in the distance. And I've been blinking up there, and I've got a reaction from somebody up there with either some kind of camera or some, maybe one of them smartphones, because they can use them as a torch, you know. <clears throat> I don't think uh, I'd fancy being up there now at this hour of the evening. Do you know what I mean? Because it's dark. 
I, there was in the times in the past that I did it. It was like the long summer evenings, you know. Yeah, you can do that because, you know, when it's it's not really dark like when the sun goes down, you know what I mean? Because you still got a bit of brightness and maybe the moon or whatever to, to guide you down as well as Our Lady, you know, and the angels lifting you up. You can probably hear, right? <laughs> you probably hear that blue car that you've seen in one of the videos recently. He's going around town <laughs> and crashing to something soon, I'm telling you. A load of unexpected uh, restaurant goers be sitting there and they get more than they bargain for, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> God forbid. I'm not wishing it at all. The engineer. Oh no. <laughs> anyway, I'll leave it at that. Uh, I just wanted to check in with you. I've been up to the Statue of the Risen Christ today. I've been up at the Blue Cross. You've seen that. So, um, anyway, I'll bid you a good evening for now, because I can't say lock and notch because I might be doing, I might do some more video, I might do some more photographs. You never know. Keep you posted. Amen. Sing with